What up, people? This is Bonjo. We're out here in Trogir Square with all these uh, traditional. Look at we're out here with the church. You got it all going on. Season is here, tourist season. But look at the traditional Croatians doing their traditional music and dance here in the square of Trogir. It's actually really great here. I'm gonna go look at the flower market. There's a flower market on, but uh, I didn't know this was happening. But here we are. Look at this. Pretty cool, right? But I'm gonna try to get out of here. I think they're, I don't know what's going on here. Look at this guy. Look at this little guy. This is Bonjo, intro gear. Wow. I wanna get on the other side so I can take a, a different angle shot. So here we go, let's get out. It's pretty cool. We're gonna go this way and try to go. We don't know, huh? We don't know what's going on here, but this is cool. It's like a little walk through trail gear, but look at it's beautiful, huh? Here we are. Look at all the traditional dancers and singers here. It's about to go down. Look at these beautiful streets of Trogir, huh? It's beautiful down here, isn't it? Look at this, i never seen that open before. A look at the Trogir Laundry. Follow the Instagram account, Trogir Laundry. It's a thing here. It's beautiful to see people hang their laundry, apparently. Look at this, wow. Little nook and cranny here. I'm gonna try to go this way. See what's going on here. Is this even a exit here? Or am I gonna get trapped? It's like Assassin's Creed, Croatian version. Yes, Trogir Laundry, see? Can I go this way? Yes, here we go. Look at this bastard. Beautiful, isn't it? The streets of Trogir in the summer, man. I tell you, one thing you gotta do when you come here, is get lost in the streets of Trogir. It's beautiful here. Beautiful just to walk around, but I love it. This is our home. This is where we live. You gotta come to Trogir if you're in Croatia. Screw Split, screw Dubrovnik. Stay on Chiovo. You can do day trips to Split, Shibanik, Zadar, Plitvice, Kirka, Dubrovnik, anywhere. Mostar, you can go anywhere from Trogir. So stay on Chiovo's best, best beaches in Croatia. And then you can do your day trips. It's way cheaper than Split, trust me. But yes, see all these people? That's the worst part, is uh, there's lots of tour groups here, so they just come here, take pictures, and they don't stay or eat. They just come here, look at all the tourist sites, and then go. Usually, you see tons of um, Asian groups come, but Asians come, take pictures, and then leave. So they don't even really spend money, which is weird, but it's okay, you know? But this is a great place. Look at this. Whoa. They don't take off. They don't take off. Now we made it on the Riva. We're gonna go check out the old, the old flower market. Apparently they got flowers for sale, and our garden needs some dang flowers. Same with our hanging baskets. We got hanging baskets without flowers. We're gonna need some damn flowers. But look at all the. Look at that. It's crazy, eh? Trogir Riva. I forgot my camera, so I'm filming off my phone here. But look how beautiful Trogir Riva is. Riva. You got Big Daddy, that's a popular nightclub in the, at nighttime here in Trogir. Big Daddy, come to Big Daddy. But then you got Club Monaco. They always have a Monaco disco bar over there. They always have uh, concerts and stuff on the upper hall. And then also, a huge disco night there. If you want to have a disco night, you can go there. But I'll show you where there's a strip club that I don't suggest you going. See that? It says nightclub there. You'll get when you walk by, you'll get harassed by girls to go in there. And I don't think you should go there. But if you like strip clubs, why not? Yeah, I got that. Here. I got that here in Trill Gear. And look how beautiful it is. But there's the flower market. I'm gonna go buy some flowers and let's go. Let's get some flowers.
right behind me is the Carmelengo Fortress. You can go up there for a couple of euros and get a view of the Riva of Trogir. It's a beautiful little tourist site and it's not expensive and it's beautiful to see. Like, and there's a football pitch beside it. Like, imagine playing in that football pitch. That's your home pitch in a fortress. In a fortress on a tiny island of Trogir in Croatia on the Dalmatian coast with the Adriatic water just shining at you. Imagine that. Come to Carmelango. Come visit. What a beautiful place, but I just went to the flower place. Uh, the Riva, there wasn't much going on. They're the regular people that you see at the market. If you go to the market in Trogir, there's an old market there. I will show you a video of it because I'm going there now. But yeah, those people, I recognize them all from that market. So it's nothing uh, too extravagant. It's just the same people, different location. A little bit more prices, but that's life. The treat. This place is called the Three Palm Trees. I don't know why, what the significance is here, but this is the location of Three Palm Trees. But we're going, we're going to get a kebabi. Let's go. Now I'm on the other side of the football pitch. You see Carmelengo Fortress, the football pitch in front of me. You got Mark's Tower here. Whoa, St. Mark's Tower. But uh, here's five reasons why I think there's another Croatia Airlines flying over above us. Can you see it? Beautiful, huh? We're close to the airport. So here's five reasons why I think Trogir is the best hub. So the best place where you should stay here and then do day trips from. One, it's because it's in the center of everything and you can do day trips easily. Two, it's close to the Zrečna Luka airport in Kastela. They say it's like the airport of Split, but it's really in Kastela. And it's about, I'd say 11 minute drive from Chiovo. So Chiovo is the best. And Trogir is like number three. This is why I love Trogir. It's because it's a smaller version, a more compressed version of Split. So it makes it more romantic and more, you feel it more, you know? It's a little bit better. I like I like Trogir over Split, I would say. My personal opinion. And you, and it's cheaper. It's cheaper. Who doesn't like a better value for their buck, right? So there is the reasons why I would rather stay in Trogir. You can do day trips. It's cheaper, close to the airport, easy transportation. You got boats, you got everything here, everything you need. It's just overall better, in my opinion. Maybe because I live here, but hey, when you're here, ring on This Is Bunjo's door and leave a comment below and I can tell you, I know a good tour guide. His name is Vedran Yurich. You can contact him. He'll show you everywhere. He'll bring you everywhere. He has a nice big van so he can drive a group of people if you really want. And you can rent my apartment. You just have to DM me and book it with me. Don't worry. It's my apartment. So just message me on Instagram if you're interested in ever coming here. And I can show you a good accommodation close to the beach. And you don't have any hills to climb up while you go to the beach every day. Because my location of the apartment is right like the second row from the sea. Except for you don't have, you don't have the old um, hills to climb up. Everybody else, they have hills to climb up and down every day to go to the beach if they want so it's pretty good it's pretty good but look how beautiful this place is though yeah imagine this plane here that's your that's a football field for the kids and a fortress you got st mark's tower you got the fortress you got the sea Jeez, this is bunjo we're out here and over there is the little market we're gonna go to and this is called starry grad old town trogir yes they're uh, redoing all the roads in trogir square because they're so all these stones are worth a lot of money and they're putting them back down and straighten them all out. So that's why you see this here. And yeah, it's gonna look beautiful, but look at this. Wow. Here's the other side of the island Starry Grad Trogir. This is where all the boats come in. The the boat yard. I don't know what they call this, the docks. And then there's the nightclub, the no-no zone for bad boys. Bad boys can go to that place, but the best hostel in town, I actually think it's the only hostel, is down this way. So if you go by the bad boy club here, you got Wild Wild West restaurant, and you take your first right, all the way down you get Hostel Marina Trogir, and you get a beautiful view of Carmelango Fortress from here. Like, look at this. Insane kind of, look at this. The Riva of Trogir is amazing. You gotta, you gotta come here for sure. Look at this place, it's amazing. Well, 
And uh, what, what am I doing? We're getting a new phone from Mickey because she has an old iPhone. And we tried to get a new iPhone, but they didn't have it in stock. So now we're getting a new Samsung S23. I don't know the numbers, but the S, they said it's a better program, the higher scaled one. And it has an amazing camera. So that's what it's all about is the camera. And I'm waiting for the phone bill. I mean, the new phone. The system's a little slow right now because uh, they're updating it or something. So I've been waiting a few minutes here now. But if you guys want to know how much it costs per month for a phone bill, you can get unlimited internet for about 25 euros a month. 25 euros a month, I think. That's not, that's not bad. 20 or 28 euros a month. That's not bad. Unlimited, right? That's not bad. So that's what we're waiting for. We got a family plan, so we get a little bit of a discount. We have two phones plus internet plus cable, and it all comes around 100 euros, 110 euros, I think it comes to. So it's pretty good, it's pretty good price out here. Look at this though, look at beautiful day here in Tro Gear, man. I thought I seen Steve Morpa over there, but I don't think it was him. I was like, hey, Morpa, yeah, with the beard and the hat, he's just like, I'm Australian, mate. And then he walked away. I'm like, oh, shit, not Morpa, but that's life. Sometimes, yeah, think you see people back home, right? But you don't. You never do. But look at this. This is perfect. I love this place. Yeah. Hostel Marina Trogir that way. And then out the window from the bedrooms, you get a beautiful view of the Carmelengo Fortress. Oh, is that a little cat call? I don't know. But look at these beautiful sail boats, yachts, cruise ships. Look at this. It's beautiful here. A quick little travel tip here, and it should be pretty common knowledge everywhere when you're traveling but always travel in the shoulder season of these kind of places because you can swim you can do everything still and you beat the crowds a little bit like May September October June they're a little bit better than July and August June's busy here but July and August is crazy busy here and I think that's with every destination as a travel a, a season a season traveler <laughs> That's my tip of the day. So if you guys want to listen to me, it would be some good advice for yourself. If not, enjoy the crowds, enjoy the place in high season. It's high season for a reason, because it's the best season, right? Am I right or am I right? And all these boats here, like this sailboat, this boat, this is the glass bottom boat, and all these ones, they all go excursions. Like they do like three island tours. The Blue Lagoon, the caves, these kind of things. The black glass bottom boats, me personally, I would stay away from. I don't think it's that interesting. And it's usually a little bit of more money. So I'd rather stay away from that glass bottom promotion, but I like the other ones. The other ones, you gotta go island hopping, have some local fish barbecued on some tiny island. You know what I mean? Go to Sh uh, Shulta and experience Shulta. Shulta is one of the most beautiful islands around here. And maybe it's undiscovered to the rest, a lot of the world. So Shulta, you can go to Shulta, these Blue Lagoon. You can go to Wicked Beach Bars that you can only get to by boat. So this is, these are actually worth the money. I would say these are worth the money. Three Island Tours, worth the money. And if you haven't guessed it, parking is horrendous here in Trogir. And so is traffic, especially in July and August. But here's a little tip, message me on Instagram and I can give you a good parking tip here a good place to park your car and it's all for free and nobody goes there so check that out check out my travel tips just message me on Instagram if you're ever in Trogir or visiting Croatia I got lots of knowledge here now with my four years experience <laughs> we got Mickey's phone and I hope you like this little video a little quick tour and life what life like is in uh, Trogir here for us and a little couple here and there travel tips. I don't know if they're going to help you, but hopefully enjoy the video, guys. Thanks. Make sure you guys subscribe, share, like, comment, all that fun stuff. This is Bunger. We're out here in Trogear, my hometown. And if you guys didn't know, this is Oak Crook Gorney. This is my bay. A little restaurant, Yole Restaurant. And our beach here. Look how lovely our home is. Jeez, and our house is just around the corner. So let's go guys, come here for a vacation, Okra Gorney.